Aloha, and in today's video, we're going to talk about what vibrations and frequencies are and why they're important to know, and how you can be aware of them will change your life. So first off, let's talk about what a frequency is. Now, a frequency is the number of times or the rate of times in which an event occurs repeatedly, and then tracking how long between each one of those events happens creates kind of what's called a waveform, but the frequency is at the rate at which that occurs. Okay, that's the physics definition, and I'll tie that into the spiritual aspects here in a second. Now, all molecules are vibrating. All atoms and molecules are vibrating in a way, and they're moving in and out of each other. And when we energy is applied to a molecule, the rate at which that molecule is vibrating, the frequency at which it is causing this action or that action, changes and you can see this simply with like water you know water ha it's those molecules are vibrating at a different frequency when it's liquid when it is ice when water becomes ice those molecules are vibrating at a different frequency and it becomes solid same with when it's in the into the gas form when it's in the air the pre precipitation again it is at a different frequency than it was when it was ice or water you know, when it's in the air as a gas, being evaporated, or so forth, then it's in a different vibration. And I'm bringing this up is because you can think about this in the way you play your life. The way we show up in our life, the way we do things, our thoughts, our actions, our words, our feelings, they create a geometry. And that geometry is actually the vibration in which we are playing this life at. Similar to like notes being played on a musical instrument, when that note is struck, like, like on a guitar, when you strike a string on a guitar, it creates a vibrational tone that ripples out into the entire room. It ripples out into everyone's ears that can hear, and it's there. And that's how, you know, that's a vibrational tone. Now, in the more metaphysical state, the way that this works is by the way you act and treat other people, and the way you talk to yourself, and the thoughts you have about yourself, and then the actions you do throughout the day, as well as your intentions behind all of those and how you're feeling, those are each like a string being played on a, gu on a guitar or a, a note being played into the universe. And so as you show up that way, it begins to do that. And then more often you show up that way, you've created a vibration and a frequency. Your actions, thoughts, words, and deeds, and feelings are the vibration and the frequency. So we'll break this down to a quick example, but it's like if you wake up every morning and you say you're grateful for the day and then you go work out and then you, maybe you go have breakfast and then you go start your day at work and that's how you, you roll through, based on how each one of those things is making you feel and based on your intentions behind them and the why you're having them, there's a vibration at play. There's a geometry at play. And so when we talk about increasing your vibration or increasing your frequency, raising your vibe, it's about picking things that in that geometry that bring you more joy or they bring you what you're really seeking for, like what you want out of your life. It doesn't always have to be joy. Pain and suffering are a part of this life. They're what makes the beautiful parts beautiful. And it's part of the beauty. The entire world is beautiful, but it's the spectrum that allows that to exist. And so, if you want to change the way that things are happening, if you want to change how you're feeling, how you're being, if you want to ch raise your vibration, raise your frequencies, then you change your thoughts, your feelings, your words, your deeds, and the intentions behind them and dive into them. And there's lots of different ways to do this. There's lots of different practical techniques. And this is why breathwork is so powerful is because it can pull you out of some kind of funk vibration and, you know, reset yourself or it can give you a fresh clarity for the day of like, okay, let's do this, you know? And another example I'll use is sometimes in the middle of the day, like I'll kind of do a restart of the day. Like if I've had a lot of, you know, maybe the day hasn't gone the way I want it to go. Maybe I haven't been showing up as my best self, or maybe there's just been some external forces that have kind of been weighing on me, you know? And it's like, okay, I need to shift this vibration. I need to be in a different state. I need to have a different geometry here. I'll do breath work. Or I'll, I'll kind of, like I said, start the day over where I'll go take a cold shower and 
you know, get up again and brush my teeth again, and then like do a little meditation, and almost like I just started the day again, and it gives us a refresh because that geometry to me of a cold shower, brushing my teeth, and a little meditation makes me feel afresh, makes me feel like a new day, a new beginning. And so that's how I shift my geometry because now I'm in a different geometry. I'm in a different vibrational state and I can play with my frequencies. Now more often I do that or more often I choose to meditate every morning or do breath work or read a book or improve myself, I change my vibration. I change my frequency. I shift. So all of this is just to give you an awareness of like what vibrations and intentions are well, vibrations and frequencies are, um, not what intentions are, we'll talk about that later, and that's something, you know, if you want a video about what intentions are, I can make a video about what intentions are, and you can put that in the comments down below, and I'll gladly make that video, uh, if it's something any of you are out there interested in learning. But with that being said, in life, what are you playing at being? How are you showing up in life, and does it make you happy? Is it working for you? Is it serving you? If it's not, what geometries need to be shifted and changed to raise your vibration, to raise your frequency? What things need to be shifted in order for that to happen? Take a good look at that. Hope you're having a great and awesome day, and never forget how amazing you are. Peace.